Ruby's here with Pro Wrestling Savior, the one JT Dunn. And if you're on YouTube, you want wrestling information, you want to see some stuff, Dre41 YouTube, the exclusive spot right here. The JT Dunn. What's up y'all, it's your boy Drake41 aka Mr4K aka Drake41 and welcome to another episode of Creation Corner. On this episode today I have JT Dunn and uh, this was a call that I really wanted to make for a while now and it took me a while to really get the ball rolling on this uh, but yeah here it is uh, so let's get into it. Now the one thing that I definitely wanted to make sure that I was able to get was a really good detailed face texture. Uh, just not so much, you know, I mean, just because it's it's difficult to get these indie guys with with, with face textures, man. It, it's really difficult, and it's a challenge. I'm just going to put it out there. It is definitely a challenge, but I'm really happy with what I was able to get. Um, I had to throw a couple... Uh, so, sometimes when getting a face texture, some people try to get just one face texture that just finishes the complete face. Uh, what I've been running into, especially when creating indie wrestlers or guys who haven't really been on TV, is that sometimes you have to use different photos and blend them together. Um, I have the nose and eyes were together. The mouth was a different face texture. Uh, the cheek definition, I had to get in a different, um, a different picture. So it's an amalgamation. Shouts to me using big words. Amalgamation of different logos oh sorry different pictures to make the uh, the that blah, 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 the texture shout outs to me i need to stop trying to talk so fast i, I gotta relax shout outs to me oh another thing that i wanted to um you know shout out myself on is the hair texture on the sides shout outs to me for making that look how look how smooth that is and i know people are gonna be like yo can i use that uh, if you want it i mean uh, i should post this on twitter Honestly, that's what I should do is just post it on Twitter and say, hey, guys, if you use like RVD's hairstyle, this goes perfect with it. I mean, of course, if it matches this hair color, then it goes perfect. If it doesn't, then it, it won't. <laughs> but yeah, look how sharp that looks. That looks beautiful. All right. Yeah, let's get back. Let's get into his uh, upper body here. All right. So the, the, the three things on this is the tattoo on his uh, upper right arm. So like that came out really sharp really clean um the ones on his forearms or the inner part of his forearms are stars green stars small stars just stars but since he's wearing elbow pads you really can't see them but i needed to put them there now on the right hand side he does have stars on his waist but i didn't put them because i'm running low on logo space so i had to decide on what's more important so you know that's what that is um the ring gear one and done and on the back it just has done on there I, honestly here's my little take on when people create um wrestlers for leagues sometimes the least does more sometimes people like over create and really makes their wrestler looks like they belong in the wwf in the early 1990s honestly sometimes like and i see that a lot and it's just like your guy is way too gimmicky like he's too gimmicky like almost 
like he's a like ex hockey player or a dentist or you know what I'm saying or like an executioner who actually wears an executioner hood. So what you wrestle and execute like execute people part time like what like you know like this is simplistic. It's easy. It's it's cool. Oh, he also has an entrance attire. Let's uh, get to that too. So yeah, this is his. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello, elbow. <laughs> I just like it. It's corny, but let's run with it. This is actually one of his uh, shirt uh, designs. Um, his finisher is the Rolling Elbow. Um, he used to tag team with Cassius Ono or uh, Chris Hero. Um, yeah, so his finisher is the Elbow. You know, the Roaring Elbow, Rolling Elbow, whatever way you want to put it. Uh, but yeah, this call is available for download now on my Dre41 Calls Gamer Tag. Other than that, guys, like, subscribe, comment. I will catch you on the next video.